but we're all watching old DW. Darrell Waltrip makes his final ride today in the number 66 car. Darrell is a cultural icon in NASCAR, and folks, from my heart, I have to say that Darrell has been one of the greatest things that I think has ever happened to NASCAR. Yeah, he talks a lot. Today, he hopes to drive a lot and work his way to the front. It's the final goodbye to Darrell Waltrip. Got uh, less than 45 minutes of practice on Saturday morning on race setup, but about 20 of the cars re-qualified, and they were practicing qualifying, and been in a lot of cars that a lot of unknowns going into this race. I can't wait for these cars to go down in turn one, Ned, because, as you said, nine guys I know did not get one lap with race trim. When they go down turn one, they don't know if the car is going to spin out, it's going to push, and I'm afraid they'll back off the gas, hit the brakes, try to slow down to find out what the car is going to do, and someone run in the back of their car. On the racetrack, Darrell Waltrip leads the field of the other 42 cars. Saluting the fans and allowing the fans to salute him as he ends his great career. His family riding there in the convertible ahead of him. And every single person gathered here today. And despite the fact that it's a Monday and it's cold, a great crowd has turned out for this final race of the year. And I imagine a lot of them are here especially to see this moment. Daryl Waltrip taking that final traditional ceremonial lap around the racetrack. He has been a great champion. He's been a great ambassador to the sport. We at ESPN salute Daryl Waltrip and the sport that he has competed in for so many years and the passion that has driven him to be the competitor he is. It's passion. I don't know how many people understand what, what passion means. I have a passion for racing. It's... it's it's what excites me. It, it, it's what, it's what I, uh, it's what I dream about. I look at a race car and I get excited. When it cranks up and the engine's roaring, I get really excited. When I get in it and I go around the racetrack and it's running beautifully, it's running to perfection and I'm driving like nobody's ever driven before. It's gratification. It's all the things to me that, that that are important. Everything in my life, I mean, I love my family, my children, my wife, I love God, but that race car, it's like I put it on, it's like a coat. It's like, a, it's like my favorite sport coat. I put it on, and when I put it on, I look good. That's what it is to me. And the crowd has saluted. DW thanking him for all the great memories that he has given us through the years. And now every team assembled on pit road comes out and high fives Darrell Waltrip. Well, it's got to be a great feeling for him and for them to be able to do that. Wow, that is unbelievable. There must be 600 crewmen there, all saluting Daryl Walton as he goes down pit road. Will it be hard for Daryl now to uh, put this out of his mind just in the next couple of minutes and take the green flag and start racing? I would think so. It will be. Yes, it will be. Because I'm sure there are a bunch of tears going down his cheeks now, but in about 60 seconds, he's got to forget about all that and try to go down and turn one and dodge all those wrecks. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> In the 21st row, it's John Andretti and Robert Presley and Darrell Waltrip will start in the 43rd position in his final NASCAR Winston Cup race. Darrell Waltrip's also been on pit road. Bob? As a matter of fact, he now is exiting. Kerry Labonte also made pit stop. We had seen his car going uh, backwards there a little bit earlier. And Jerry, how about the pit stop by Ward Burton? Darrell Waltrip, meanwhile, is running in the 35th position at the moment. There's still 39 cars on the lead lap. All of the cars that are on the racetrack are on the lead lap. Darrell Waltrip in his final race finishes 34th. 